sport is a training ground for life. I love it for this reason. It reaches everyone instantly. Matteo Piano and Luca Vittori won Olympic silver medals for Italy in 2016. And such is the strength of their friendship, they're often confused for brothers. It's a partnership that has produced results off the volleyball court too. In 2017, they started their own ethical clothing range known as Brodo de Becchi. We decided to try and propose a joint project, one that could join Africa and Italy together. So, in the Congo, in Goma, North Kivu, we started producing rucksacks, bags and towels. We also reused wax fabrics, this colourful cotton you can see here, which we fell in love with to create T-shirts. So, basically, Brother de Becchi developed in a natural way. Luca's uncle and aunt were missionaries and lived for a long time in the Congo. So after Luca proposed this idea, I told him, absolutely, yes, let's do something useful, beautiful and creative. Part of that was setting up a charity workshop in the Congo. With support from Matteo and Luca, locals learn the craft of tailoring. And after work, there's both education and volleyball. Back in Italy, Barbara Spezzini holds similar values. A chance meeting between the three now means the athletes are also sending their fabrics to Barbara in Turin to produce the Brodo de Becchi clothing line through her non-profit organisation. Colori Vivi was born from the idea of giving a chance to these migrant women, these mums with children. We believe in them, they're good people with skills who simply need the context to be able to use them. They come to us traumatised, because these are all women who have been victims of violence and abuse, and who have had a very difficult past. This is something that clearly has an impact on their self-esteem, so they struggle to believe in themselves and believe that they can rebuild a life here. It's difficult being in a country without your parents and where you don't know anyone. I flew away like a bird by plane, but when I got here, I didn't know where my next meal would come from. I had to eat whatever I could get my hands on. Life was extremely difficult, but then I met Barbara, and she's helped me become very happy. I'm able to laugh again. Matteo and Luca were the first ones to believe in us. That's why they have a special place in our hearts and in those of the girls with whom they have established a close relationship. Talking about this sort of topic, these thoughts and setting them in motion can change many people and their lives. So it's good for the individual migrant, but it's also good for the community as well. We're volleyball players, and that's what people know us for. But we've managed to bring people awareness of another environment, one of ethical clothing, along with the project in the Congo. On the other hand, there are all the missionaries and workers who now watch volleyball, people who never followed the game before. This is also a great thing.